Today we're going to show you how to take notes a little bit differently and build thought solutions using this app. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad up play. First of all, I want to let you know, well, of course, the Twitter handle is iPad365. The email address is iPad365show at gmail.com, as you can see down here in a nice new bar. As we are, uh, as we're rebuilding the uh, the new logo and everything into the show, we still got a couple more things to work out, tweak out. But once that's all done in the next couple episodes, it'll be the full new, uh, new logo and everything of iPad365. Let me know what you think by Twittering me, of course, emailing me as well. All right, today we talk about taking notes, and we don't like to take notes. We don't like to journal or, or make any type of structure. We just kind of uh, grab a notepad, write a line, write another line, write another line. But you know, now in today's day and age, how many times do we write notes? How many people, I, I find it amazing every time I see somebody that actually has a notepad and a pen and starts writing that way. We type, and we like to type, and we like to type and put thing, thoughts into our own areas. And we do have a notepad for our, on our iPads and on our iPhones and on our computers. But they just kind of don't work as well as the old tablet and pen system. So that's why we have a program like Magical iPad. Now, this is a full creative uh, learning, troubleshooting, uh, I guess a flowchart type system. It's best to describe it. I've been playing a little bit around with it. Now, it's not going to make circles or, or polygons or, uh, or parallelograms or anything like that. But what it will do is it'll put your journal notes into areas. And if they're out of place, you can put them into place and put a thought idea around here. Now, like, for instance, I created a simple uh, creation here uh, in the workspace. You clear it out. And then I started with test. And with test, you have the different items. So, like, for instance, if you're sitting in a lecture and I'm talking to you, I say, Today we're going to talk about iPad 365. We're going to talk about the app, Magical iPad app. We're going to talk about our sponsor, and then we're going to let you go. So it's like, okay, so I could have this, and I could type in, okay, this is uh, iPad 365, and he said we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Magical iPad, and we're going to talk about the sponsor. And then we're going to let you on your way. All right, so now I've put out my outline and I've written it down. Now I can put things in here. Like, for instance, I could actually put in a balloon right here and say, okay, this sponsor, uh, sponsor for today is, and write that down. Now, as you can see, I have it set to auto linking. So it doesn't, uh, it automatically hooks up to the main one. But you can turn off the auto-linking if you want. So you keep creating thoughts and, and bubbles, and you can touch your ideas and add to it. Like, for instance, if you find out, okay, sponsor for today is, and you didn't hear that part, you find out later. You could, okay, so I go in, and I can say blah, 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 and that's the sponsor for today. It's also a brainstormer. So, like, let's say you're in a meeting with uh, five other people, and you're trying to write, I don't know, write an outline or something like that for a, uh, for a project that you're starting to do. Instead of writing it on the uh, pad, you write it onto this device, and you can actually move things around and say, okay, first, uh, first of all, we need to build the product, and second of all, we need to think of ideas. No, we need to flip that around. Think of ideas first, build the product second, and you can just easily, by taking this and moving this around, it gives you uh, places to put them. You can even break the line structure and go to and create a different line by simply connecting uh, on one note and connect on another note, and you can create that, and you have a full flowchart feel to your your item here. And as you move things around, you get you get a better idea. And like I said, you find one thing might go better before the other thing, and you can move it there. Get your thoughts in line, and therefore create something that can then be sent to people, so they can go, oh yeah, this makes perfect sense. Let's do it. Let's go forward with it. And, uh, and get it going. So the program itself has gotten some pretty high marks from the tech publications out there. And it's definitely a different way of thinking. It's a, it's, it helps with collaborative thinking. It helps with personal thinking. So like I said, if you've got your notes here, there, 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 you can put them all into a 
line that makes it more manageable and easier for you to understand. Once again, the name of the app is called Magical iPad. There's a whole bunch more on this app you can check out. It's absolutely free, so check it out, and it's in the App Store now. And that's this episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. We're going to start a new segment in the next few days. It's basically called uh, the 12 Apps of Christmas. Uh, of course, last year I did it as one whole show. We're going to stretch it out throughout the different shows leading up to uh, December 25th. And of course, we're going to have a small little apps for Hanukkah too for all of you that celebrate Hanukkah because you get seven crazy apps every day and every night. So that'd be 14 apps. You got to worry about 14 apps to put on your iPad. Unless you're given 14 iPads, then, uh, then that's pretty cool. I hope you're going to have a great Cyber Monday because there's going to be a lot of apps out there. Check out last week's episode where I talk about the Black Friday apps because they're just as important this Monday for Cyber Monday as they were for Black Friday. And so it's Black Friday, then it's Buy Local Saturday, and then it is Cyber Monday. Then we have Green Tuesday. And then check your wallet on Wednesday because it's going to be absolutely empty, not even to buy a pizza. Kind of sad. What can you do? Anyway, you can get a hold of me by simply going over to Twitter handle and say, Hey, Twitter, where's that iPad 365? Oh, iPad 365. Twitter. There you are. Boom. Got it. What about my email? We're going to change that. It's basically going to become show at ipad-365.com as the uh, iPad365 show at gmail.com just kind of didn't make sense. All right, we will be back on Wednesday when we'll show you another great, 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 great app. It's kind of like your grandfather. He's a great, 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 great grandfather. Except it won't be that old. Another great app on Wednesday when it will be another episode of iPad365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for listening in the audio version because we do have an audio version over there. And until next time, you guys geek out. You should follow Graphite on Twitter at GraphiteINC.